it's Jessica, the one actually appearing in this video. Um, I'm tucking in the garden. Uh, what that means is basically preparing it for winter. I call it tucking in because most of the plants are going to sleep for winter. Um, I actually took this bit of video between two later clips and obviously holding the phone the wrong way. I know to some people uh, this might not look great, but our garden is actually in a transition into a forest style garden. And also it's fall, we've already had one freeze, so it's just a generally not great looking time of year anyway. What I'm doing here is trimming back some auric that grew, it's a native weed that is edible, but we just never ended up actually eating it. So I let it grow for that reason, but I've decided not to keep growing it. Uh, that is a tin that we grew our mint in. I'm showing you the bottom. That's just to show that you really do need to be careful with metal containers because often they're not actually outdoor proof, especially when they're really cute. Can't always have cute and functional at the same time. Here I'm showing a weed that I'm about to get rid of. It's similar to dandelion, but it's not, it's just a little too spiky, doesn't have exactly the same growth pattern. You can see it's created almost a bush there. What I'm doing here is just shocking it with some cleaning vinegar before the cardboard goes over it. And that just makes extra sure that it gets smothered and it dies because we have had some come up between the layers and like I said I don't really mind the weeds because some of them are useful but we're getting a lot of bull thistle that one wasn't bull thistle but like weeds that aren't useful at all I tend to let my weeds grow especially if I think they'll be dandelion because I like dandelion but I've gotten tricked plenty of times I've ended up with bull thistle and various asters uh, things that just don't have the same benefits for me. They might have some benefits, but I, I'm just never going to use them. But also by letting my weeds grow, I've gotten violets, which are my favorite. I've gotten wild yarrow. I've gotten musk mallow. So if you let your weeds grow, getting rid of the ones you don't want once they're mature is a bit of a pain in the butt but you get the benefit of getting all those nicer plants that nature is more than willing to throw at you. What I'm doing here is I had some bricks that you can't see the stump anymore, but there was a stump there, and if you were directly over it, you could see it. Um, and I thought I was going to start an herb garden on that basically to help break down the stump, and I'd started outlining it with those bricks, but I didn't have enough. And that project just didn't go anywhere. And we ended up planting a tree right next to it anyway. So instead, I pulled those up and used them for weights. You can also use garden staples. But when you're doing it over very bushy plants, uh, the garden staples have difficulty holding it down because they can't reach all the way into the ground. Um... So I was just using bricks instead. Once we finally got all our cardboard mulch down, then we're going over it with a real mulch. And that's to give it another thick layer as well as just keep the cardboard down. As you see, the flaps want to come up. It's not really good enough on its own. As well, it doesn't really look pretty, but and we have snooty neighbors. So, uh, what you're about to see is I'm going to stop mulching and I will have remembered that I have pumpkin seeds and guts from processing pumpkin, which is another video that I wanted to plant. Now, knowing that I was going to do this, I also mixed the seeds with my tea leaves that morning and now I'm adding sheet manure to the bowl. Um, and that's just so it spreads easily and it's also a little less obviously food so maybe the squirrels and birds don't eat all of it 
Pumpkin seeds don't necessarily go out this time of year, but I didn't really feel like going through all the effort of washing and drying them. I have so many other things that I need to do. So last year we just planted the full pumpkins. It took them long enough to rot under the snow that I think that hindered them somewhat. Um, we still had a rotting pumpkin in spring. So this time it's just guts and it's going under mulch on top of cardboard mulch because planting on top of the mulch just really helps uh, get it deteriorated onto the soil while also smothering the other plants. When we're doing transitions like this, I want it to go as fast as possible. Normally you want this to sit for about a year. 